NADH is nutritional advancement and it improves physical energy and mental sharpness. It's a naturally occurring enzyme and it helps cells become more energised. NADH is the reduced form of NAD, or nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, a coenzyme that's necessary to dehydrogenate the primary and the secondary alcohols. In dehydrogenation, the NAD acts as a hydrogen acceptor and it forms NADH. The NADH, in turn, serves as a hydrogen donor in the respiratory chain. NADH is an essential intermediate in the cellular process and it generates energy from glucose in the form of ATP or adenosine triphosphate. An FDA-approved double-blind placebo-controlled clinical trial conducted at Georgetown University Medical Center enrolled 26 patients who fulfilled the US CDC's criteria for chronic fatigue syndrome in 4, 8 and 12-week programs. The subjects were randomly assigned 10 mg of NADH per day, or placebo, for a one-month period. This was followed by a four-week washout period where the subjects gradually received a less potent dose of NADH until they were completely free of the NADH. This washout period was then followed by another four-week session where the subjects were crossed over to the alternative treatment program. The results showed 31% of the patients responded to the NADH and they showed marked improvements in physical, psychological and neurocognitive measures, in contrast to only 8% who had the placebo. 73% of the patients who were enrolled in the longer open-label follow-up study showed significant improvements in clinical symptomology and energy levels. The NADH was also shown to have a good safety record, with none of the subjects experiencing any significant adverse reactions. In another study conducted at the Sleep-Wake Disorder Centre at the New York Whale Cornell Medical Centre, the researchers tested the ability of the oral stabilised NADH to improve alertness, mood and performance on cognitive tasks in 25 healthy middle-aged adults after one night of total sleep deprivation. In this double-blind crossover study, the subjects performed significantly better on measures of cognitive performance following the one night of total sleep deprivation when they received the NADH supplement compared to the placebo. In particular, the overall performance efficacy, the number of correct answers per minute, measured one hour after consuming the 20 mg of the sublingual NADH, was significantly higher than after the placebo. Proponents of NADH believe that it can boost the natural effects of the NADH within the brain. Some even go as far to suggest it can restore memory and cognitive function in people with Alzheimer's disease. There's even ongoing investigations as to whether the NADH, delivered by injection or intravenously, can slow the progression of Parkinson's disease. Some of the theories as to why the NADH can be beneficial it helps enzymes in the body convert food into energy in the form of adenosine triphosphate, or ATP, and studies suggest people with ME and chronic fatigue syndrome have low levels of ATP. Research also shows the NADH can stimulate brain function, and this can help to alleviate the cognitive dysfunction that's associated with ME and chronic fatigue syndrome. It can reduce the fatigue by restoring the function of the mitochondria, the tiny structures that power your cells. ME and chronic fatigue syndrome is believed to involve mitochondrial dysfunction. It can also help your brain create new neurotransmitters or chemical messengers that influence mood and cognitive function like serotonin, norepinephrine and dopamine. A few studies have looked at the combination of NADH plus coenzyme Q10 in people with ME and chronic fatigue syndrome. A 2015 study published in Antioxidant and Redox Signaling, reported among 73 women with ME and chronic fatigue syndrome, the combined use of NADH and CoQ10 provided greater subjective increase in physical and cognitive function compared to placebo. Moreover, the co-administration of the supplements increased the concentration of ATP in the bloodstream. Similar results were seen in a 2016 study from Spain where NADH and CoQ10 reduced post-exterior malaise, a defining symptom of ME and chronic fatigue syndrome. 
a 2011 review of studies published in BMC, Complementary and Alternative Medicine, named NADH and Magnesium as the only two supplements shown to improve ME and chronic fatigue syndrome. Another report listed NADH and ribose as the only supplements to improve chronic fatigue. The theory that NADH could influence Parkinson's disease was fueled by a 1996 study where the intravenous administration of NADH for eight days translated to a transient improvement of the Parkinson's disease symptoms. The NADH also appeared to increase the concentration of levodopa, a primary drug used in the Parkinson's disease therapy in the bloodstream. Side effects from NADH supplements are uncommon if taken in moderation. However, if taken in high doses or late in the day, it can cause jitteriness, anxiety and insomnia. Doses range from 5 mg per day up to a total of 20 mg per day. It's usually taken first thing in the morning on an empty stomach or sublingually to improve its absorption and it increases energy so it's not advised to be taken later in the day. To book a consultation or to learn about chronic fatigue, herbs, supplements and natural treatments, check out my website.